previously on Burn Residency, the DJs met their head mentor, Pete Tong, who surprised them with one of the most difficult challenges yet, a remix challenge. I think I need uh, more time to do something big. Pompey played at Sonica Radio as the winner of the USB challenge. The DJs work through the night on their remixes and there's no time to rest as Pete and Marius are about to give a lecture on film music. Putting music to film is, is a bit like DJing. When you think about how a film soundtrack or a film score is put together, because you're kind of effectively doing the same thing. You're, yeah. you're adding emotion to picture. It would be a pleasure for me to, to work with film company, a movie company. Putting out their music, they might be thinking it's to get them DJ gigs, but actually that, that really increases their chances of getting a phone call one day to say, could we use your music in, in our film? The modern DJ is expected not just to be great at selecting music, but also to participate in the making of it. And I think you have to uh, satisfy that expectation. The DJs worked hard on their remixes. And now it's time for John Digweed, a famous DJ, producer and owner of Bedrock Records, to join Philip and Pete in evaluating this challenge. I'm really satisfied with the remix I did. I think I did a quite good house track. I'm not sure that I'm gonna pass. I feel very honored that John Digweed is going to listen to my track. I think with a, a good mix down, it's something that I would consider playing in a club for sure. It's really good top line work. He's got a sound for sure. I think there was some very, very good stuff there and, and we're going to release the top three on the label. The DJs showcased their talent and among the best were Javi Rowe and Max Demand, whose tracks will be released on the Bedrock label. However, there can only be one winner. I think the winner, um... Before the announcement, in my head was like... Well, the winner's Bog. Nobody helped me with this remix. I did it by myself. Last night I slept like one, two hours. I mean, from my money, I think it's just it was the fact that you put so much original stuff in it. He's got a, an idea and the groove and the elements, and it's just, it's all sitting well together. And the prize for the remix is... You're going to play with me at Mambo on um, Monday. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for Borg. Yeah, he deserves it. What can I wish more? I mean, it's perfect for me right now. Borg's biggest challenge is to prepare a set that will perfectly sync with Pete Tong. I think that um, for Borg, that was a good initiation. So he gets to play to a decent audience but it's, it's not like a dance floor exactly, so it's, it's good. I was waiting for an opportunity like this seven years ago since I started. I mean, look, it's, wow. I know you want me. At last, the DJs can have a well-deserved break, but while they're relaxing and enjoying the party, they can hardly suspect what's coming up next. There is a surprise day tomorrow. I'm not going to reveal anything yet, but I can tell you, please pack your stuff. I don't know what to expect. Can't expect anything with this competition. It's incredible. 